So, on our last trip out uh, Christmas week, we went to Briarfields, usual thing, set up and filled with water. And all of a sudden, we had water pouring down the back of the tap here onto the worktop, down the edge of the worktop, and onto the floor. So, basically, we had to stop filling up with water, drain it, and then we managed for the weekend with no water in the van, just using the facilities, which Briarfield's got very good facilities, so we went a couple of times, so we knew where we were getting. Anyway, um, I noticed then, what I, I should have videoed it really with water, there's a little airline fracture just under you, and the water was pressurised and running down you and all the way down there and onto the floor. So I realised that with the cold snap we just recently had, which we wasn't expecting, I hadn't winterised my tap with all the taps open so all the taps in the van were closed so basically that's what i was saying is caused the fracture and then the leak and it was caused me to get a new tap so today i'm going to replace the tap as you can see it's just on the top of the worktop i'm assuming it's some kind of nut or fixture underneath i have got a new tap which i'm going to look at in a little bit and then the pipes in run all the way down the back and put the shelves in under the shelving, under the heater, and then down somewhere into all this pipe work under here. So we're going to have a look at all of that now. So halfway up the van, there's a little storage panel here, storage compartment. And this looks to be in line with the sink. I'm sure that at the bottom of the other side, where it's looking through the bottom, they look like it appeared to be a panel under there. This might be the panel, and this might be another panel above. So I'm going to remove these, and it's lower panel. Let's see what's under there. Okay, after removing one of the um, four, four, these four screws out of this panel, you can now see you go straight into the van lock, and there's a little plastic nut holding the tap in place. That's all it is. So I'm going to start by removing that. Then I'm going to remove these other panels and see if I can get to the pipe work. See what happens then. So, as I said, there's the, the panels removed now, the bottom panel, two bottom panels, one, one across here, and now you see the pipes. So I'm going to show you now if I can hold this video, hold this camera well enough, how to remove push fit fittings in a pipe. So literally, you have to support the underside of the pipe here. You have to push this pipe into that fitting, then hold the collar, and then pull this pipe back out. Right, so I don't know if I can get a video of that, but I'll try. So I think maybe. So push the blue pipe in, hold the collar. There it is. Push the red pipe in, in, hold the collar. Today, now literally free. So there's your tails. So I'm just going to take off this nut and remove the tap completely. So this is my old tap out now. Um, the camera can't see it, but there is a small airline fracture running up there. It can't be picked up on the camera, I don't think. But I'm suspecting that's the leak is. So this is my old tap. As you can see, the rubber seals <coughs> are ruined as well. This is my new tap. Identical, so all good. And that is the same rubber seals on there. The tails are the same length. Um, so I'm gonna fit this now. This is from this tap is from a place called Grantham's Caravan. I had it online, so Grantham's Caravans. I bought the tap online. The only one I could find was 150 quid from Brown Hills because I needed the tail running, like I see, because this is a Swift Caravan. It's not a Caravan, it's a motorhome, sorry. Um, it's a Swift motorhome. So I needed the tails, I needed the tap all assembled, but it was 150 quid from Brown Hills. So after a good bit of digging around the search engine, I found this for 129.99, but because it was January, I had an extra 10% off. 
So Jan 10 voucher in there. So it'll come down to £116.99. So still expensive, but not as expensive as £150. So now I'm going to fit this. So there's my worktop. I've removed the nut and not the rubber seals because they're going to sit on top of the worktop. So, so all I'm going to do now is thread these down through the hole, thread the tails down there, and then I'm going to go underneath and put the nut on, put the nut on the top, put the nut on the end of the tails, and then secure the tap then from the outside and complete the connection of the tails, run the tails down. What I did notice was, there's a couple of clips in there, plastic clips, and they're all screwed. See the little white around the back, but then all in the waste pipe. But they're screwed to the to the backboard. And it's very, very difficult, inaccessible, really, with a screwdriver, because one of them is like behind this piece of wood here, so you can't get in without actually removing this tray. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just gonna cable tie my tails to the waste pipe. And that should be sufficient enough for me. So there's the Tap now in place. It's quite sturdy at the moment. It's only hand tight underneath. So I got the rubber seals in now, so you can see it's sitting off off the uh, <coughs> the work surface, so it shouldn't vibrate when travelling. So I'm going to go underneath now, around the back, around the side, sorry, and try and do it with this little wrench, just a little bit. It's only a plastic nut, obviously. I don't want to wrench it on, but um, we need to tighten it up a little bit more. Right, my wrench is on a root well my wrench is too small to fit that nut so i tried to get my top wrench but i haven't got much access in there so basically i've just done it as hard as, I, as tight as i could with my fingers both hands um run the tails down through then or oh, through the bottom no that's all i'm gonna do now is connect up the blue to the blue and the red to the red okay so I'll do this connection Push it in, right to the red, and blue to the blue. There's a little bit of water in there. Come on, get the two hands for this. So there's my pipes reconnected. Sorry, I had to knock the camera off then because I couldn't get two hands in there and secure the bottom of the pipe. But if you just push the pu push the the pipe into the other this pipe into this connection it just won't go any further and then it's sealed and then you can try to put it out and it will come out into both of them so that's a good secure connection so now i'm going to put a couple of cable ties on around the corner here around the tails and the waste pipe so they don't rattle when traveling and then put the panels back on put a bit of water in there and give it a try so I don't know if you can see, I've put a couple of cable ties around the waste pipe now to stop them wrapping in transit. But as far as I'm concerned, there's one at the top. I've put one down the bottom. As far as I'm concerned, it's good enough because there's only two plastic clips in there anyway. So for me, I'm going to put the panels back on and see how it goes. Put the panels back on, nice and, nice and secure. All the screws back in the right places. So yeah, job done. So easy once you gain access to that. So there we are, just put water in the van. It's obviously no electric hookup at the moment, so I <coughs> just put a bit of water in it to try it. So there's no water over the worktop, which is great. That's a new tap, obviously. I've led the system, I pumped it, water flowing lovely. So make sure now with the seal off that all my other taps are not leaking. No water around there. No witness of any water. Tap very nicely. Both directions. And then in the shower. <coughs> There's no water anywhere else leaking. It's all good. I'm going to see you anyway. Job done, I reckon. So I'm going to take that tap on, strip it down, see what happens. So before I finish for the day, I'm going to just open up all the taps, as in this position, it's closed, it's open, in the middle, make sure it's in the middle, so it's both hot and cold, <coughs> valves are open, open this one, exactly the same, so that's probably somewhere around the middle over there, 
make sure this one's open and then make sure my kitchen tap one is open and it's in the middle. So I'm gonna empty my tanks now, my fresh water tanks and my waste tank and leave it all like this because we expect another cold snap and I don't wanna pay another 116.99 for this tap, 150 quid if it's not an offer. So I'm back at home now with the old broken tap with the old uh, split under there. I'm gonna strip it down and see how usable it is. See if there's anything that I can use on it. So this is basically um, the Vector S, the Reich Vector S, R-E-I-C-H, German I presume, uh, Vector S. It's without the micro switch. You'll see on some of them it's got a couple of cables here and that's for the micro switch. This works on a pressure operated system only. So we'll see how the strip down goes now. First of all, I'm gonna take out the Swift Badger Swift badge on top, I'm going to prise that out and then I'm going to take out this Torx head screw here and see what happens. So just by putting the screw to the red on the slot by there, now I can now get the Swift logo badge out. Um, and then it looks like some kind of bolt in there. See what size that is. So this bolt just happens to be a standard 3mm Allen. Uh, bolt Allen car bed. So I've got a set of Allen keys and I'm just about to remove that now if I can do it one handed. Okay, it turns quite easy. Oh, so I'm gonna just loosen off now. So by loosening the car bed um, the handle then just literally just lift straight off, just pulls straight off. So let's see what happens now. I remove that Torx screw in there. I don't know what size it is. It's very small because it's um I don't even know what size that, that is. Doesn't say, but it's a very small one. So well, I'll remove that and then get back to you. So that's that out. You can see that little screw there out of there. Um, I'll do it so I think we're just gonna pull this part this way from that part and see what happens. I should have my camera. But nothing happened there, so I've removed this screw here. Now I think if I move the whole body downwards. And this is what happens. The whole thing just comes off. So there's the assembly, my assembly, which is broke. So with removing that screw over there now, is it like they will now come apart? The answer to that is, yes, they do. And my airline crack, I think, I can't see it now, the camera can't pick it up, is in this part. So if right, did a spares kit and they could, I could just bought that for like a couple of quid it's only a bit plastic ink and sorted out my broken tap rather than paying 150 quid I have to throw all of this away because none of it's any good anymore apart from the cartridge which is in here so you got a couple of torque screws again which can just take these three out and then you reveal the cartridge, which I know a lot of people say leaks and things there, but as it is, I have to replace the old tap just because of that. So you can see there's no ring on it, so that would just all slot back together. Then it's these two would slot back together, that would fit then back over there. Screw that up, top screw in it, job done. That's all I wanted with a new one of them. Come on, right. You make spares available for the general public who want to repair their taps and don't want to throw things away. So, there we go. This is a tap in the kitchen here of a Swift Contiki 650. The one in the bathroom, one in the sink in the bathroom is obviously smaller. This is a, is a Vector S. There you are, job done. I'm going to throw this away now.